comfortable with being uncomfortable. The feeling of being comfortable with constant change. The feeling of being uncomfortable with the uncertainty of what's going to happen next when it came to making plans of creating the life that I want, right? So, um, that's something that you guys need to work on. Uh, getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. Uh, one of the things that he spoke to me about was a uh, another thing that he spoke to me about was uh, the crowd that I was in as I was slowly but surely trying to transition out of that circle of influence that was so negative in my life. He said, how do you like it when they talk about, he said, the boss, but me, right? Him, knowing that you may soon get promoted to a supervisor, right? Because that was the mission he was working on, having me to become the best I could be at my position and then go to the next level, which was a sergeant. So uh, he would ask me, how did I feel about it? And, and, and that feeling that I felt, was that the same feeling that was stopping me from moving forward, from giving my all effort toward um, doing well on exams, uh, um, uh, studying with other sergeants, uh, uh, I'm moving out of that circle of influence into a new, more positive influence of high achievers. You know, why was I trying not to allow that old me to pass away, that old me to move on to something new, right? So um, I had to ask myself uh, why I was feeling this way and, 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 and was it out of fear of being judged or uh, was it a feeling of comfort? I needed to know which one was it. And so it took some time for me to sit down with myself and my thoughts and write about that and contemplate on that question. And this may take some time for you guys to do the same thing. These are questions that are life changing, career changing, more so, right? Because if you guys are dedicating your time to a career, of something that you want to achieve, something you want to have in your life, to provide for your family, to give more to your family, to be more than what you currently are, then guess what guys? You have to answer the hard questions. There's no way around it, right? You have to come in touch with your emotions on that subject so that you can move forward and create the life that you want. That is how it goes in life when it comes to change. Getting comfortable with change is a hard thing in the beginning, in the beginning. But once you know your reaction to that emotion and you know how you're going to feel and you know the uh, what you're going to go through, you then get comfortable with it. You know what's next, right? You know you're going to get the sweaty palms. You know you're going to get the fluttering heart. You know, you know you're going to feel a feeling of anxiety but you also know that that change is necessary to create the life that you want. This is powerful stuff, guys, because, because in order to have the life that you want and not the life that is pushed onto you, you're going to have to create your own change. You're going to have to be the catalyst of your own change, right? People's lives are going to change no matter what. As I said before, people's lives are going to change from moment to to moment the difference is you're going to be in control and direct that change in the path that is beneficial to you so that you can have a good life and that's what we're here for today guys we're here for you to have and not just a good life man I'm talking extraordinary life right we're gonna have an extraordinary life here today so um that is all I'm talking about here today. I just wanted to get that out here today as I'm sitting here and I'm melting in the sun. It is so hot, but it's beautiful. I'm loving it. And uh, I just wanted to um, get that message out to you guys today uh, so I can enjoy the rest of the evening with my family, guys. I hope you guys are going out there and doing the same thing. Creating the life that you want so that you're not stressing over all of the little things and enjoying the most important thing, which was time with your family, right? And time with that significant other and doing some of the things that you truly enjoy in life, right? So uh, get out there, love life, have the best life possible 
by creating it and not allowing it to create you. So this is Sal Blue, man, and I'm wrapping it up, guys. I just want you guys to make sure that you uh, check out my book, Top 25 Mistakes and Routes to the Good Life, second edition. Second edition, the first edition, as I tell you guys all the time, the first edition is always for the trash. I had to get it out there and put that information out there to you guys, but now I've broken it down and I've gotten it um, kind of a, a lot easier for you guys to digest. So um, hopefully you guys will enjoy that book. I know you'll definitely also enjoy my audio book. I'm put the link in the description in my YouTube channel as well as my uh, Facebook and Instagram groups. Um, and so check me out. I'll be on TikTok as well, uh, posting some videos for you guys today. So continue to listen. Thanks for your support, guys. And um, if you want a free copy of my book, DM me uh, at Lieutenant Sound Blue on Instagram or speak up in our group, Top 25 Mistakes, on Facebook. Hit me up, Sound Blue, on TikTok. And, or just uh, email me directly at uh, top 25 mistakes at lieutenant and I will talk to you guys tomorrow with my next daily podcast all right have a great night guys deuces